Verse 5, he says, you've gone far from me. Oh, I wish I had time on that one. You're seeing things from God's perspective. Now, don't protest. You haven't gone far from him. You were in worship last Sunday. Well, I've been in many, many worship times that the whole service was far from him. It was self-centered to the letter. And everybody gets a clap as if we were giving God praise. You weren't. You were clapping for the woman who just sang. Yes. And if you didn't, she would look aghast. Why didn't you clap? I sang. We have worship that is entertainment. Not only that, but we've departed. We've departed from the message of God. And I think two things have been an abomination to the churches. One is the church growth movement. We forgot Jesus said he would build the church, and we've said, it's okay, Lord. We've got the best methods in the world, and we're already doing it. Thank you. He said, you're getting a crowd, but you're not building a church. And the church remains full of sin, but now we're doing the second thing. We're seeker-friendly. God, deliver us from that. When you're seeker-friendly, you'll never preach on hell because it's not seeker-friendly. I went around this Revival Heritage tour last summer, and I was listening to the preaching. That is, what kind of preaching was done all over England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland that brought tens of thousands of people on their faces in the rain and the mud crying out to God all night long? And I found something in common. The people who heard the preaching came under an awesome sense of eternity. And they cried out to God, I'm one breath away from eternity. And I'm not certain where I will go. And they would cry out all night long. Pastors wore themselves out going from person to person. 30,000 gathered in Belfast all night long. 500 came through in a commitment to Jesus Christ. But the preaching brought them face to face with eternity. So I came back to our large church in Atlanta area, and I began to ask pastors and staff and people, when was the last time you heard a message on hell? Nobody could remember. I'm serious. I could ask you, when was the last time you heard a message on hell? That's not seeker-friendly, folk. Not only that, but your deacons will not like that. Now, what's happening is we're shaping God into the God we want Him to be, and folks, that's evangelical idolatry. When you shape the God you want Him to be, who is not the God revealed in the Word of God, you are then following idolatry. And so the God we now serve doesn't look anything like the God we see in the Scriptures. 